Hello and welcome to another Getting Started video for Password Hub Business. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to log in to Password Hub for your very first time using a Devolutions account. We'll also introduce you to some basic functionalities to get you started on your way. Topics will include creating a Devolutions account using the welcome email, accessing and using the web portal, and creating entries both manually and automatically with the Devolutions web login browser extension. In today's example, our user Kelly, who works in the service desk department, is about to receive an invitation from her organization to join the Windjammer Corp password hub. While we wait for her to receive the invite, it's important to note that there are three basic ways an invitation will be generated with password hub. The first one is if your organization is using single sign-on with Microsoft, the invitation process will function a bit differently. If that is your case, you may want to check out our other video, which shows how you can join a password hub using SSO. The second method is if the invited user already has a Devolutions account associated with their email, they will get an invitation much like this one, with a link to the organization's password hub. They simply have to click on the link and then log in using their Devolutions account credentials. The third method is if they are a brand new user and do not have a Devolutions account, they will receive an email with the Password Hub's link as well as a temporary password for them to be able to create a Devolutions account. This is what Kelly will be doing today. So it looks like Kelly has just received the invitation from Bob along with the link to access the Windjammer Corp's Password Hub and her temporary password. So she can simply copy the password and click on the link. Now she can paste the password and continue and she'll have to create a new strong password, which will give her access to not only her password hub, but also to her Devolutions account, where she can access a bunch of resources and help for all Devolutions related content. The last step is for her to put in her full name and update her profile. Now, later on, she can go to account.devolutions.net and fill out more information in her profile if she so desires. Great, the account was now created so she can log in for the first time. And once that's done, she'll have access to her brand new hub. So let's take a quick look around and see what Kelly can take full advantage of with Password Hub. On the top left, we see the vault selector, which allows her to quickly switch between the vaults that she's been given permission to access. And everything is organized neatly into folders so she can get to the entries she needs easily. For today's example, let's have Kelly start by accessing her empty user vault. This is where she can store her personal business related entries like alarm codes, website credentials, and so forth. So let's say she wants to add her building alarm code. She can do so easily by filling out the relevant information and saving it at the end. It's as simple as that. Now for website credentials, these entries can be added manually like we just did, or they can be auto generated using the Devolutions web login browser extension. With Devolutions Web Login, or DWL for short, users can conveniently retrieve and store website credentials using their favorite browser without having to open the web interface. We found that most business users like Kelly really enjoy and prefer using this method to access their hub contents. So let's have Kelly set this up and install the DWL browser extension. To make this easy, she's going to start by going to Tools and then selecting Apps and Tools, which will take her to the Password Hub Companion Tools website. Then under Devolutions Web Login, she can select Chrome, since this is the browser detected from the website, and add to Chrome. And we'll have her pin it to the top for easy access. Let's close these other tabs and connect DWL to her password hub. So when we click on the extension, we're prompted to select a data source to connect to. Let's select Password Hub Business. Here we need to insert the password hub name. So she can simply just copy and paste and then select Test Connection and then save. There we go. Now here she'll have to authenticate again because she has to connect her DWL plugin to her password hub account. Now since this is the first time she connects to DWL, she needs to choose which vaults she wants to sync with the extension. So she can click on DWL, then the vault icon, and then select vaults to sync. And she'll be syncing all of them today. Now, while we're in here, I wanted to show you that when her vault is more populated with websites, she can simply go to the search field and search for the website she wants to access, and it'll take her directly there. It's kind of like a bookmark, but with the credentials ready to be inserted into the site. Okay, so let's see it in action by visiting a website that Kelly uses every day to collaborate with her team. She'll simply type in her username and password as usual, 
But then, since DWL is connected, it will prompt her to save the credentials in one of the vaults that she has write permissions to. She's going to save it in her user vault. If we refresh the hub, we'll see that the new website credentials appear. So now if we go back to the Atlassian website, you'll see that a small indicator icon with a little one appears in the credential fields as well as in the browser extension, indicating that a credential was detected for this website. So let's have her click on the credentials and let DWL do its magic. Now that was really easy, and she didn't even have to remember any of her passwords. So at this point, Kelly has everything she needs to safely vault her entries, as well as use credentials to access her favorite websites. We hope this video is a help to you as you start using Password Hub Business in your organization. As always, please feel free to contact our support team if you have any questions whatsoever concerning our solutions. We'd love to help you in any way that we can. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.